The design tours travel to Sortex, the premier event for sourcing original art and design. In this episode, we go inside the design minds of surface pattern artists to explore their creative processes. The Living Museum of Textile Design. And I collect antique textiles, whether they're paintings or they are fabrics. My collection is basically French. It ranges from the early 1800s through 1970s. Very interesting because you look at digitized paintings today and you lose the depth. These have depth. They are, you can see the light, how it was studied. So there's a really big difference of today. It can go into paper products, wallpaper, hard goods, bedding. It, it's endless. Everything I do starts off with a pencil drawing. Um, so I work um, really detailed in lots of different sort of shades of pencil. And then I scan that in digitally in order to add color and change the scale. And then I can print onto sort of any different surface or product that I, that I want. But it always starts with that hand drawing, so that's what's sort of really important to me. Where did you get the idea to work with keys in particular, but antique objects? Well, that, that's a great question. Um, I've always been a fan of abstract art. And I wanted to take, you know, something that was built to last that maybe has been obsolete because we've moved on, uh, so to speak, from technology and then use that in a way to create a, a, an abstract image that is very modern and today. This took me uh, about eight months to, to create. These are actual, real pieces that uh, are then photographed and put on a, as a clay. My mind is always thinking, you know, what could be, you know, what I could use. I just see inspiration everywhere. I originally started with hand-painted designs uh, using Dr. Martin watercolors, so just very ornate. Um, light-handed, and I specialize in florals and novelty prints, so prints that tell a story, uh, conversational designs. Originally it was created with the Dr. Martin dies, and then I manipulated it on the computer, so with the aid of Photoshop, and just layered it. My art has a lot of layers and texture um, combined to just create my abstract art and um, I get my inspiration just everywhere, looking all around. I like to layer paint that I actually paint and scan in, as well as just editing things on Photoshop and layering different layers together, sometimes digital layers combined with paint layers. I love the fact that Zertex supports young designers, those studying surface pattern design. They have a competition called Design Next, and the finalists are here at the show. They get to exhibit their winning entries and meet potential buyers. It's a great way to jumpstart your career. And so I say goodbye to Solotex and all the talented artists and designers who bring beauty and style to our daily lives. Until the Design Tours travels again, stay tuned and stay inspired.